Franco. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but guys, today I came to East Potomac Park to do the bottle fishing technique that my dad, that I promised you guys that I was gonna do. And here he is today, guys. As you can see, my dad is already set up with his technique already, and he's trying to see if he can catch a fish today. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you guys a little explanation of how to do it, so stay tuned. Guys, as you can see, my this is my the, the bottle that my dad uses. Um, as you can see, it could be any kind of bottle, but it has to be a little, you know, a little, a decent bottle, not those kind of soft ones. Because like, if a fish actually takes the bait, you know, you want something to hold on to, especially if you have like a fence or something, you just roll it around here. That's that's the good advantage of here, um, since they have a fence. And then you know, you just tie up, you know, put a a good leader on here, a good line. This is monofilament. Then he has like the little the little rig here, a little weight and the little octopus hook. And I'm telling you, this technique is pretty impressive. My dad has caught some decent sized fish on this man. Like he's caught more fish sometimes than I've caught fish on a rod, man. Like he already caught a fish already. He caught a little blue cat. I didn't get it on camera, but I'll put the photo of him catching it. But I'm very impressed, like, I challenge you guys to do this, like, you know, tie up a leader here, like a, a 10 pound leader, 10 pound test line, just roll it around, make sure it's really, you know, tied up good, and, you know, you just put a, a one ounce weight, and you put a size six octopus hook, circle hook, and guys, I'm going to show you how my dad would be catching these fish, man, so stay tuned, should be fun. As you can see, my dad is um, putting some chicken liver on there. That's what we're using for bait today. He has a small one for one of these little, feet. like, he has the small bottle to catch, like, the smaller fish, like the bluegill, white perch, so he can use as cut bait. But he puts one of those little small hooks, size, size two eagle claw hook, right here. Oh, size six, I mean. Oops, I don't think I ran out. Yeah, I have one in there. If I can find it uh, right there. As you can see, we're using a little size six eagle claw hook for the smaller, for the bluegills. And it's important, like when you're baiting up using this um, bottle technique, always use like sewing string to keep the liver on there because you know the smaller fish tend to steal the bait. And as you can see, he just threw it out there. The fish tend to steal the bait once it hits the water, you know, the school of bluegill, the white perch, and uh, and the little striped bass, little school of striped bass. And it's important, like, we use sewing string to tie it around, you know, to put, like, a, to tie it around the hook so that way it can stay firmly on there. So, if we, we'll, we'll come back with you guys on when we catch something so you guys can see. So guys, one of the advantages using this bottle is pretty cool. Um, covers a lot of ground on there but I wouldn't use this technique you know where there's a lot of snags snaggy places you know like small creeks and rivers because like when it's not like a rod you know that you have like a long tip you know so you can actually angle it you know trying to take the trying to reel in your your hook and all that um but I wouldn't recommend it doing it like this bottle technique and rivers and stuff because especially if there's like a lot of rocky a lot of rocky edges and you know a lot of um, logs and stuff in the water I mean if you do it around these like a open place like this I mean it's perfectly fine you know because you know the place has not that many snags well around here there's some snags around here like you just got to know where to where do you know where the spots are where it's less snaggy you know where you get a lot of snags so um that's the good thing about the technique that my dad has been using for over the years you know they fish like this in Central America. A lot of people actually fish like this here too, you know, that are not used to using fishing rods. I've seen people, but mostly my uncle and my dad has introduced me to that technique they use, and it catches a lot of fish, you know. When it comes to reeling in the big fish, um, my dad uses gloves because, you know, you don't want to pull the line with your bare hands. You don't want to get all burned up, you know. It's pretty, ow, you know, ouch. But, um, yeah, when it comes to something, like, very big, you know, he takes his time. He wears gloves, like the ones I'm wearing, you know, to keep himself safe, you know, he, from, like, harming his skin or anything like that. Um, but he has caught some decent-sized fish with this technique. I'm very impressed, you know. Um, 
I'll put some pictures in the end, end of this video so you guys can see like the catches he've caught over the years and you know, I've been fishing with him. Uh, my mom also uses the technique. She's not used to using fishing rods. I've taught them, but you know, they they prefer to use the the bottle technique, you know. But hey, they catch fish at least, you know. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see what we can catch. Yo, guys, as you can see, my dad has caught a catfish, a channel cat, on the bottle technique, as you can see. <laughs> wow, man, I'm very surprised. It's a very decent sized one, as you can see. How awesome is that? I'm telling you man, I already caught two, one fish and he already caught three. Unbelievable, so we're gonna release the guy and we'll get back to you guys. Yo guys, what's up? I know the video was kind of short today, but since I was in a rush today with my father because we had some stuff to do after we was fishing for for like an hour or two. But as you know, my dad really caught three fish today. I'll post the photos before when the, at the end of this video so you guys can see. But I'm going to do a part 2 so you guys can have a full like a full um inside view on how he does it, you know, how he rigs it, how he prepares it. You know what he catches you know the, like the baits and stuff and i challenge you guys to do it also you know go out there and fish with a bottle you know and let me know what you guys think about it there's a couple of people on youtube that have done it you know they use different methods you know and using the bottle technique but like my like i said my father and my uncle use it you know to catch fish you know and i haven't explained full details about it but i'll do a part two soon on like you know so you guys can see how you know he fishes and all that stuff. It's gonna be awesome. But I hope you like this short video, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Until next time. Oh, 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 oh,